make the choice, and they finally get something with a little bit of life behind it, and that's mm -hmm. going to be the Bristleback. But it is going to be that last combo of spells and attacks to bring him down. Okay. Position, uh, especially with the Skyrath Mage returning to the top lane. Oh, attempted denial. Oh. Now with a pounce over on the Batrider loader. Trying to play around with the Batrider, but he's out of the Shadow Dance. He doesn't have, uh, he doesn't have, uh, leap, pounce, that thing. So he will end up going down the bottom lane, but up on top, where's the collateral damage? And it's gonna come. It's on Skyrath Mage. Santa Nuke's coming off cooldown, and Chen will get it off in time, so the Magnus can finish the job with a Shockwave. Now the Hex going into the Bristleback. They need a little bit more damage on him if they want to find the kill, but there's no more control left available. It's only a Wild Wing as well as the Sada. There's not that much to play with, so it's end, end the... Uh -huh. And Magnus like can't sacrifice himself all the time. Yep, they found the Batrider. Uh, with the Slave and the follow-up Stun, Light Strike Array, everything's going to be working perfectly to kill off the Batrider. And the Observer Ward, which is already planted. And Levi, he walks far enough to the left. The pounce up from, from the Slark not going to work. He does go for the big amount of damage, which will be finished off by the Chen Sada Blast. Missing the Sun Man, that's costly. He won't have enough yeah. damage, he won't have enough life to survive that. Even after Arke was trying to send it back. Yeah, it's also a healthy man. I think Lotus sees it as well. He'd love to go for the kill, but there's not enough mana for a pounce. So he needs to find somebody else on this field. And that's going to be the that's gonna be the Bristleback here, who just chases down Arke, killing him off. The Troll okay. Trap, is it available? Mm, one second. One second. Storm killed the Magnus in the meantime, so we're actually going to 3 for 0 going the way of BBC. They're going to get the revenge onto the Bristleback. Levi does run himself in too. They kill off the Hellbear. Now Pycat on the stun. Weeha is the haste rune going to work. Dragging Pycat back up again. We're on a 4 for 1 trade off here. BBC. They're dishing out the deeps. And they're finding the kills. Yeah. A little bit of luck, but... Uh... There's still three kills ahead, but economically and experience-wise. Like, experience-wise, they're ahead a little bit more now. But with the economics, Alliance was still running a Chen. This was still the problem we flagged during the drafting phase. The BBC have to be very effective with their ganks. And if they're not, like this, for example, they just smoke ganked on Mad. They'll swap him back in again. He might have time to get a finger off. Uh, he won't, but Levi's going to drop. So he got support for support. Pycat might be the quarter drop, however. He needs to hit this Lion Strike Array over on Weeha. Laguna Blade committal as well. Weeha, he eventually goes down to the Magnus Skewer. But we're on a three-on-two trade-off, and uh, you gave two supports and a core for a core and a support. And one of so those, one of those calls. Lane while all the activity is top and mid, but soon enough they're going to start grouping, and they're going to be able to get a lot of kills as a team. Attila, Lotus stalking him right at the Ancients, and yeah, no getting out of that one. No, he could have TB'd immediately, but. Well, he might have, but you want to stick around a little bit longer and help out with some damage with the Dark Pack from Loda into a Shadow Dance. He has to pounce himself into the pit and away from the Storm Spirit's vision so we can regenerate, running as quick as he possibly can while the Skywrath may just finish off the Chen. They're going to lose the, the uh, Skywrath, allowing for Lion, of all people. Mad just picked himself up a triple kill, and Loda, he bought the space because Weeha spent all of his time chasing Loda and not helping the rest of his teammates. Really wanted that kill, obviously, waiting. Well, the rest of Alliance keep themselves a little bit more hidden until this moment. Pycat caught out, put up on top of a cliff. He's still got Yule Scepter available. And, uh, well, there's that Yule Scepter up. He's going to hit the ground. Look for the stun. Oh, Mag RP catching out too with the Mystic Flay. He's going to skewer them both back down again. Pycat, he's still alive. He's got Mud Golems up here with him. He's actually trapped here. There's three Mud Golems caught on a cliff, but he's still able to do the damage. Down to Bristleback. He's being drained out at the same time. RK, he's dying to the Dire Creek Wave, which for some reason is also down here. A double stun out from Mad. And they're looking for more. There's Chen Army chasing up. Further, can he get close enough towards Levi? Not gonna happen, or maybe he will. The shockwave loader will arrive to finish the job on the vengeful spirit. The Chen army, all four, they're surrounding the Skywrath. Stomp number one, stomp number I two, and just stomping them all down. Meanwhile, Chen dying again. He got killed by the dire creep wave, and these mud golems, normally they're sad as hell. But how did you, one, get two mud golem camps to spawn, and three, two, put them up on a cliff? They're so Maybe a hired gun. Hmm. Attempted to get gank here from BBC. They're going to find Nikwa, Blink Lasso, dragging him back. That Mystic Flare, it's going to melt the life points of the mag this time around. Got clap, slowing him down. It's going to be hard for any hero but the Bristleback to feel confident in that. Levi, he actually jumped himself in here. There's a large amount of damage to load up, but... Shadow Dance will keep him alive. You'll back him up. The Chen Army's still sticking here with a blink in for the stun. That's number one. Stop, wait for the second one with a Laguna Blade from Pycat. 
But I'll find the kill, they'll move in towards the tower. So Mag might have been lost up, up on, uh, well, down in mid. That's good negative armor stacks. But the problem yes. you're going to have is Lotus walking around with a Shadow Blade. They drop the Sentry Ward now, realizing he's that close. And Pycat, well, they already try to send him. Yeah, they're sending Lotus back. So he can't. Oh, they sent the army in. They brought the army in. Okay, but Lotus. Okay, there's your Dark Pack. He breaks free of it. Your RP catch up Sky Wrath, mate. There's not enough initial damage. The Slaughter, uh, the Slark, is able to run himself so far away that they could not. They ended up just pulling their team up again. Levi's going to die inside the Chen army. And Lotus, looking for the leash, couldn't get it over on the Storm Spirit. But starts shifting that essence out again. There's no more follow through until they just say, well, let's kill off Roshan. Out of a Lincoln Sphere. Oh, thinks it's a solo pick onto the Batrider. Pops off his Dark Pack, but using the ultimate, he's going to still get the kill. He should be able to bottle charge us in the VS swap time. Bought him that moment. Loader, the orb is flying his way. He needs more life. He'll break the Aegis. That's why he went for it. He's not going to find it, but then again, Mag found a double RP. It's the two supports. The last record Ray connects perfectly, and Pycas has beaten the crap out of him. A double kill for him. And that's that fiery soul coming into play. The power of the Ranger is strong in Pycat. Even though he couldn't be any more blonde. <laughs> Pressure! Oh, yeah. It's... Yeah, that is actually the, the carry Lena, essentially. You get two Lagunas, that's eight, 1900 pure damage going right to one person, or spread the love amongst all your enemies. Magnus is dead. Where's your jump up? Mad, he's just gonna finger it. And the Mystic Flare is going to make him regret that pretty quickly with the Dark Pack. They keep alive the Brussleback, but Loader, he's able to pounce himself up, gets the Tether, needs a hell of a lot more help, however. Battling up against so many, the Hand of God, and in comes your Chen army. The Orb Attack won't be enough, especially with the Meg to help out. Maybe it will be once Weeha jumps in. He got the Orchid over on Loader, but RK still got an army. And looks like PVC is not going to try and force the issue there. They at least don't have to deal with Pycat. And he sits on the ward spot, so that's perfectly all right. Yeah, it doesn't block the alpha to spawn up. Bat Rise looking for a jump. RK's the primary target again, because he's their primary healer. Uh, Blink Dagger's on cooldown for one second time. Waiting for that jump to come in from the Magnus. Nikwa waiting the timeout as long as he possibly can. Finger, Laguna, there's Refresher. One more to do it. Nah, he can't reach him. That's a one-for-one -one trade off. Mad won't be able to reach up to the Bristleback. But Loader with inside the Shadow Blade chasing after that Storm who jumps practically half the Firefly would give him the vision. There's your jump in. Oh, he oh, misses on Loader. The Dark Pack was already up. Oh, was that on something else? No, it was on Loader. He just packed it off perfectly. They nice. saw him with the Word Vision and no Suri. My, my eyesight is working then. Whoop, Loader pounced up on top of the cliff. <laughs> sorry, Flame Breaked up and then oh. Storm Spirit. Oh, that lasted long. Laguna Blade to get the kill. Roshan was killed by the Radiant Slark as the Aegis the Immortal in his, in his greasy little paws. As the blink up, there's your seal, Mystic Flare, Nikwa, the Hand of God keeps him alive, but it's not enough to survive the entire time. And now they're actually making the most of the Ghost Scepter, allowing Pycat to get another Laguna Blade attack in. They can start draining at the mana of this Bristleback, and that'll allow Mad to, okay, do nothing, because the Magic Missile, Levi swapping himself out to that one. Pycat's going to get orchided. There's no real opening for him, and are they already sending back? Yeah, Pycat's being sent back to base. Gets one last Lion Strike array over on the Storm Spirit, giving space for Loader to move away from here, but they have the Gem of True Sight, and there's too long left on this Shadow Dance. The Firefly will wear off. He cuts through the tree line. Aegis Simona will have to trigger. Nine seconds until he can use his Shadow Dance. They're still on top of him with the gem. The Vortex, yeah, the Orchid, Loader is dead. This will be a double, but in the back line, yeah. Pycat! He's going to get himself a double kill. The perfect line strike array. Blink the TP out to safety. So they lose the gem on the ground. They do end what was quite a nice little spree there for Loader. Well, not, not a huge one, but there's a bigger one that was just witnessed that gave a lot of items to view. Quite a large amount. Um, okay, Levi was possibly... Greatest position he could have been in to survive this. They're looking for a gank. Mad looks exposed, but he's not. He's here with help. Pike. It has to be last super. They're actually missing up their control. The RP comes in. Storm Spirit, where's your Mystic Flare? Not doing enough damage at the moment. Pike, though, he's in huge amounts of trouble. He can only get one Laguna Blade off. The Bat Rider will drop. But Nick was in here. One more attempt to kill off Yapsaw. And load up. Well, he wish he had a Basher right now. Instead of that Refresh Orb, he's not going to get the Sun over on Levi. Well, Weeha TP's himself out inside the tree line. So the gem was dropped by BBC. It was in the hands of the Batrider, and Loda's going to grab it now. 
It's, it's empowered as well as being uh, fiery salt. Oh. Blink, lasso, the drag, you're back in again. Pycat needs help. The RP catches out too. The Yule Scepter up, uh, saves him from the Mystic Flare. There's your second RP. They hold the Batrider as well as the Storm Spirit in position. The Bat can buy back. The Range Rakes are still not gone down yet. And there's your Storm Spirit buying back. So far in, but the Yule Scepter up again. Man wants to follow up something. Missed the timing of it. He'll at least get the Hex into the Dark Pack. We are so low. It's going to be a dieback for him. Lord, I guess even a bash onto the Batrider. But he's all alone here. He needs help. The Shadow Dance has been used twice. He did burn through the Refresher Orb. And Nick, well, there's not much he can do apart from let Loda duke it out himself. Pounce around. Shadow Blades back off cooldown. And he's away. They dropped the Sentry, but they did not get the gem. Time for BBC. But negative 7 armor, negative 9 armor over on Roshan. Loda knows what's going on, but they're all coming in too late. Do they want to take a fight into a team with an Aegis? Mm. I suppose it's easier to fight here. What the RP? Only caught one. They try to he go for the YOLO. Pycat comes in looking for that Laguna Blade. The PKB to protect him. And he blinks himself down after. Well, actually, he has got the refresher on. It's still on corner for 15 more seconds. But it is still a one for one trade off. Loader stuck inside the pip. The Shadow Dance. The Sentry Ward will drop. In fact, sorry, it was, the, it was the Shadow Blade that was used to try and protect him. But that won't be successful. The Aegis is still in the hands of the Storm Spirit as Weeha. He's got a regeneration rune up his sleeve. Well, unfortunately, he can't use it. He keeps taking damage from the creeps. So he had to buy himself some space. And BBC come out on top. A Roshan kill. The two-for-one trade-off. And according to my records here... Oh, they actually oh. found Pycat. Oh! Pycat! Pycat. He refreshed his BKB! Yep. That and then blinks. It actually brought his Blink Dagger off cooldown as well as his BT so he could TP himself back to base! Wow. Legend. That, that's some ability. Chen could just persuade him and we'll get, lead them to victory. I don't know. Jump. Top lane. Laguna. Finger. There goes the Storm Spirit. The Yule Scepter is up and that's sending uh, the Batrider twice up into the air, in fact. The second one being Pycats. Gemma True Sight still on the ground. Oh. And Pycat swap back down again. He does have BTs back off cooldown, but with the Blink forward and the Flame Break with the slow down from the Rod of A. Owie. They're able to have Pycat in the sidelines for two minutes. He did buy back previously. And that buyback timer has come. Actually, no. He can still buy back. It's two minutes. Run himself up further. And the only person they can see is the Brusselback. But this is so obviously a trap. And here they jump. How much damage can they do before the trap is sprung? Storm Spirit jumping in a long way. That RP, I'm not seeing it in just yet. But they've already got the kill over on the Vengeful there Spirit. Who tries to his teammate out. But without Abyssal Blade, they're controlling up the Batrider. Loda's able to do He's got a second Abyssal Blade because of the Refresher. And they're doing so much damage here. It's going to be enough. BBC, they tried to battle outside their own base. Now lose four. Weeha will run himself away to safety on the back of a TP ball lightning. But BBC, buyback wise, they only have the, the Bristle and the Sky Wrath Mage. The damage now popping everything they have. They're gonna go as three. And the Alliance, they're penetrating the Forest Moon of Endor right now. And BBC, they're trying to repel them at least. Careful of the Ewoks. Oh, yeah, I think that's enough Star Wars references for tonight. Nope, they're jumping back in. They're going on Yapsaw. Load up with a finger. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, that's just the thing. It's not even Laguna. Doing the work. Skyrath made this down. That's a double set of Raxes. And the bottom is completely exposed. The Crete Wave's already come in through the top, so all they gotta do is just keep Loader on the front lines, beating him. He's got 7.1k right now. Like, and with a, a blink to Yule step to the Light Striker rate, uh -huh. he caught Levi as well as the Bad Rider. Even the Bad Rider's gonna lock instead of a Lasso. Pie Cat, Laguna Blade. He's gonna die. Primarily because there's a huge amount of war pass stacks over on that Brussels pack. But you may as well just buy him back. BT, I mean, he's coming into the top lane while the rest of his teammates are mopping up the rest of BBC. This game is practically over. The bottom racks will go. This will bring a Mega Creeps VS. They still want to fight to the bitter end. The Mega Creeps are up and running. An alliance. Do they just stick around? You got the advantage. A 5 on 3 situation. And you've still got an RP available. And you got RP, you got Hand of God, and there it is. GG, well played. Nick was going to go for one last glory. And he's going to catch out too. Drag him back. Pycat even stuns up the Brussels back. Just to add insult to injury. They get one last for the road. And Alliance will take a 2-0 victory. Congratulations. And very nicely done, obviously. They, they had a little bit of fun with this one too. They didn't follow through with the 
optimal, perfect item builds just to win it outright. They they enjoyed themselves and they had a great game overall. And it really came down to the fact that BBC just never really got tempo after the 10-minute mark. They If they were able to really play